Hi, my name is Ian Gland. Um, I was assistant editor to Jeff Little during um, our, our pretty busy period in the late 80s and early 90s of Australian television um, credit sequences. Myself and Jeff do not speak anymore, um, but due to some contractual obligations, we've been asked to record these videos, um, so we're going to be doing them separately. Um, and uh, yeah, here's the first one that I worked on, which was um, All Together Now, uh, starring Johnny English. Now this is a beginning of a long one take um, that took uh, uh, about four weeks to orchestrate. Now gold and platinum records weren't actually printed up at the time. This was an idea that an American producer had uh, brought along to one of the meetings. So we, uh, the, I believe the art department, uh, one of the members spray painted a record, um, unfortunately using a very cheap um, overseas spray paint. And, and actually dipped into um, a coma due to the to the toxic fumes but um, it worked out quite well because after the the coma the brief coma he regained I think 40% of his original speech pack so it was uh, some good news from that Forget, forgives all regrets. Nothing This is a bit embarrassing, but it's it's something to note. This is actually the first case of side boob, um, as it's commonly known now on on Australian television. Uh, we snuck that in there, um, and we actually uh, received um, uh, best tits award at the Logies. You know, it was a different time. Obviously, obviously, it's something I'm not uh, super impressed with now because of you know, uh, feminism, but, um, at the same time, I'm very proud of, of that award because, you know, post-production rarely gets recognized. Uh, this is a nice bit of, um, uh, sort of foreshadowing of this plot point. Um, you know, he's an old rocker who discovers that he has these children that he didn't know about. Now, Johnny English actually was quite confused by this and thought this wasn't part of the show that he in fact had two children and, he actually fled the scene straight after this, after reading this newspaper article. Um, we chased him out there just to make sure he was okay. He picked up a whipper snipper, um, was waving that around. for. Luckily, it wasn't on, but it was still pretty heavy. He waved that around for a bit, but uh, we managed to calm him down and explain that it was a TV show that wasn't real. Again, this is another bit of CGI trickery that we did. That mullet is actually CGI hair. He he couldn't grow a mullet to his great shame uh, for someone of his stature in the 90s. That was something that was recognised as being famous. You had a haircut with a mullet like that. Um, they tried rat hair uh, implants and they didn't take. Um, so we had to CGI on his mullet. Um, also, uh, that guitar is actually... Uh, a whippersnipper, the one from, from before, he picked it up on his way outside to film this section um, and, and couldn't be convinced it wasn't a guitar. Uh, he said, no, I know, you know, G chord, C chord, but that was just the little bits of plastic at the end. He didn't really know. So we had to CGI this guitar into his hands, which, which was quite difficult. And that's pure Gibney hair. That's pure Gibney mullet. Now, this we in the edit suite were a bit baffled by this shot because it, it you can see that each actor had been given a different set of direction. You know, Jane Hall is sort of happy to see to see uh, everything there, and and Stephen Jacobs sort of is looking disappointed and and does this weird grimace and then walks off. 
uh, we we went to the to the to the producers and said what's happened here because we can't use this, and they explained that two directors had been hired for that day, and it was quite an embarrassment. And instead of you know firing one of them or one of them backing down, they both said no, we're we're being paid and we're both working today. So they compromised, uh, especially in this scene. One did Stephen Jacobs and one one director Jane Hall. Unfortunately. They didn't really match up, so it, you know, it's two directors giving two separate actors um, a different direction, and that's pretty tough, unfortunately. Um, this is Bruno in in some of his first costumes that he was sort of wearing, and and those those colours, the stripes, um, the tie, the very thin tie, and the floral shirt actually destroyed about four monitors in a row. Um, just completely burnt out and we realized that as we were editing it came up to this scene that's when the monitors would just melt because of the the horrendous colors patterns and and styles that were sort of all crammed together um so we we managed to do this blind uh just didn't even have a monitor on for this stage and uh it worked out pretty well that dog is actually quite afraid of 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 bruno um you, you can see it, it it's its tail is between its legs his ears are back and um, he looks around for help and and they're all dancing um and and this was tough to, to edit as a dog lover um i don't know why they decided to do this and and bruno actually goes even further and, and sort of throws a bit of a slap and hits the dog and the dog runs away tail very clearly between its leg um and then there's the text there all together now Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please head to Jeff Little's website. 